guys how are you i hope everybody's doing really well with their transfers and retrievals and just everything trying not trying oh i hope everybody's well well today is eight weeks and six days for us um as far as my symptoms have gone Still nauseous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And no throwing up or anything. Just nauseous, some headaches, some acid reflux, and some heartburn. Some tiredness. Some weird stretching below. Who knows? Some random blood here and there. Some what else? Heaviness in the bladder. You name it. I got it. <laughs> I got it. You name that symptom, and I got it for you. <laughs> I, yeah. So that's what's going on. I went to the doctor today. I'm not released to my OB just yet, but I did go to my regular OB today because I was like, oh, maybe I have a urinary tract infection. So I went, and she said I had a little bacteria. So. I wasn't expecting to get an ultrasound from her just yet, but she gave me an ultrasound, and both babies were great. You know, I got to see their heartbeats. I hadn't got, I didn't, I didn't get to see them prior. Everybody else always told me, oh, I see it. I'm like, I don't see it, but today I did get to see the little flickering heartbeats, and uh, that was exciting. I, w I can't wait to hear it. So, they're in there, and twin A is... Measuring right on time will be nine weeks tomorrow, and uh, twin B is three days behind. So he caught up by one day from the last ultrasound. He was behind four days from his other twin, so he's all right. Um, that's all. The doctor did tell me that I have. She wants me to go in for a more in-depth ultrasound to see what type of uh, identical twins they are. So I have another ultrasound next week, Tuesday, and then Wednesday I have another ultrasound. No, and then Wednesday I have a, another ultrasound for sh for my clinic, so I could be released from them. That's exciting. I was supposed to be released tomorrow, but the clinic called and said the person that would do that is not in tomorrow. So I'm just getting all sorts of ultrasounds. Apparently, because I'm, I have twins in there, I'm considered high risk. So, apparently, I'm going to get lots of ultrasounds. I don't mind. Because this will probably be the first and last pregnancy. So, I don't mind. But that's it. That's it, guys. I'm out of breath. Yeah. I don't know why. I didn't do anything. I'm out of breath. And, uh, that's, that's what's going on over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. How could I even forget this? The food aversion are out of the this world. Like, I have spent so much money on food. Um, it is, it's crazy. Because I don't know what I want to eat. Ever. Meat. I've really stayed away from meat. I can't really cook the meat. I can't really cook at all. Because smelling whatever I'm cooking, I'm not going to eat it. Hey, where's my earring? Um, I'm not going to eat it. So, <laughs> I can hang up cooking. And I have to, like, have so many snacks during the day because you're going to get sick if you don't eat. It's crazy. These children are already eating me out of a house and home. I signed some clients up for food stamps. So I might need to do it next. You know, just a separate plan for this pregnancy. Anyway, that is what's really going on, and uh, that's it. I will come back on next week and uh, give you an ultrasound update. I guess you'll get two ultrasound updates. Yay! Um, I do have to ask, like, would you guys, I'm getting some questions about, from the doctor, should you get that Down syndrome test? I don't think we're going to do it. You know what? I'm going to get what I'm going to get. To be honest with you, I don't want to be worried and freaked. You know, I don't want to be freaked out. I've already been through enough. So, would you guys get that test? She said something about 11 weeks. 
I don't know. I I don't have time for all that. I don't want to be worried. Give me your thoughts. Um, and I hope everybody's well. Okay, I'm going downstairs to try to eat something, I guess. <laughs> Bye.